Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 120. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. New uh, stream, new recording session. Let's get going. We're around Laguna Seca for this one, which uh, not very happy about because it's Laguna Seca. We got to try and get as quick as we can around these first few corners to get ahead of the Bugatti because. The Bugatti will destroy us on straight. It's just so powerful. I wanted to find or destroy to feel her underneath. What a tune. Love it. Okay, we're not quite catching up in the corners like I would like to be. We may have to take the Bugatti Veyron. For the world championship i really want to take the mclaren f1 gt so i'm going to aim to take that but i may just have to take the bugatti oh fuck me the bugatti doesn't even know how corners work lovely so you now have a saline that's blocking off the uh bugatti from the cars behind this is actually the uh saline's territory when you think about it the saline is gonna hold back big time Mmm... Uh -huh. Not too bad. Let's keep this going. Come on, come on, come on. Pendulum is the shit. Honestly, there is no band in the world better than Pendulum at the moment. Right. It just works. Shit. Ah, oh, nah, I slid too wide and lost it. The saline's gonna be a lot more difficult to overtake than Bugatti, I think. <clears throat> okay, uh, apparently the saline slows down way too much in that corner. Fair enough. Alright. Looks good. 
Are we really only looking at nine minutes on a race for this? Fuck yeah. Give me some shorter races. I don't want long ones today. I just want to get over and done with. Good old pendulum. Right. Third gear. The one thing that still baffles me about this Koenigsegg is the fact that it, it literally comes with a fully manual gearbox. That just blows my mind. Like, it is a manual H shifter. Straight up. It's not even a sequential, it is a gate shifter gearbox like that is crazy oh we're halfway there whoa donkey in a chair Not bad. I really do like how Koenigsegg do that sort of singular glass pane design that wraps around the whole front. Like, there are no A pillars at all in a Koenigsegg. That is one of the coolest things I love about Koenigsegg cars in particular. I really cannot wait for Gran Turismo 5, uh, Gran Turismo 7 VR. On the PS5. I have PS5 in my head. That's why I said GC5. Gran Turismo 7. With virtual reality. On the PS5. Awesome. Giving it up. Alright, not too bad. That was a good first race for today. Alright, not bad. Saving Ghost. Please don't turn off your console. Woohoo! 16 grand. I'll take that. Nice easy race. Alright, here we go. 
I can't even remember what track this is. It's the next one, though. Twin Ring. Let's go, Twin Ring Mategi. Seven laps of... How did we get six laps of Laguna Seca, but seven laps around here? This is a longer track than Laguna Seca. That makes no sense. <laughs> Cause you're a snitch. Boom, 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 boom. Oh shit. Ah. <laughs> I've ruined that one. Let's do a rewind. Bike track. Right, and we'll pull out. There we go. Ah, shit. Come on. Alright, not bad. Fucking hell. There we go. I see why the last one was shorter though, because this is a much, much longer race now. Because we have seven laps around here. So I think they're just compensating for how short the last one was.
All right. We've got four more laps left to go of this race. Woohoo! Seventy meters. It still baffles me why there's a 70 meter board. Because I just assume they could, like, push it further back. It doesn't have to be attached to the wall there. There is this thing called ground you can stick the pole in. There we go. Nice. Right, two more corners. Two more corners, two more laps after this. I can't even math, it's three. <laughs> uh, my brain's frazzled today. It's a Sunday, alright? Leave me alone. It's a Sunday, it's a Sunday, it's a Sunday. You know, feeling good. And I'm feeling cheese burger. Alright, not bad. I'm going to have to look into why my computer keeps stuttering like this, so... I think I'm going to unplug my graphics card and reseat it at some point. See if that's causing a problem. I know it's not CPU or anything, so... I mean, it's, it's not doing too much bad for the for the video anyways. The video is still pretty decent. Right, now it's two more laps. <laughs>
Zeno, what up? How are you today? Welcome. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. I don't know why I'm really into this type of genre. I don't even know what the genre is called. But whatever this genre of music is, like, it's obviously electronic music, but, like, I don't know. It just fucking slaps. Doing good, man. Just currently in qualifying for a league race in GC7. Watching the Group 3 boys do their qualifying session. Not bad, not bad. Buzz, buzz. Yeah, I'm really not um, a fan of Gran Turismo at the moment. Just, I know I need to go on it to get like the 25th anniversary stuff. Otherwise, I'll miss out on that and I'll actually be really pissed off. I probably already missed out on it anyways. My LMP1 is a fucking king of Interlagos. Interlagos is a great track, I'll be honest. I think the fact that Forza doesn't have Interlagos is a bit stupid. Forza doesn't have Interlagos, does it? No, it doesn't. So the fact that Forza doesn't have it, like, Forza could benefit big time from getting an Interlagos license. The TS-050, is that the new one for the 22 World Endurance Championship? Or was that for last year's Endurance one? Or is that an even older Toyota? Oh yeah, because this year was hypercars, wasn't it? It's something completely different now, isn't it? It's the 2016 MP1 car. Yeah. They used that from 2016 all the way up until 20... Was it 21 or 2020? They used basically that car for quite some time. Toyota Gazoo Racing have been absolutely dominating in all of the championships that they enter. Like, they've dominated in WRC the past few years. They've dominated in endurance racing. What else do they do? There's another championship as well that they, um... That they do, that they've been dominating too. That's why I really think companies like Audi and that should get on and... They should join the WRC again. Come on, Audi. You can do it. Magic people, voodoo people. Alright, we're on to uh, Sunset Peninsula now. This is the last race in the Koenigsegg. And then we'll retire this car because I doubt I'm going to drive it again. The thing is, I'm actually able to like buy 200, 300 grand vehicles, drive them for this championship. And they just not worry about selling them because I made profit already. Like, this Koenigsegg will probably have cost me 50k after all of my earnings from the championship. Which is crazy. But oh, I absolutely budgeted that one. I probably will end up selling it, uh, especially when we get to like the Series S, the TRS World Championship. Because if I'm wanting to use that McLaren F1 GT, it is 3.8 mil. So, I need to get a shit ton of credit. Yeah, I know. So, I think that's um, a rule of LMP1. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure LMP1 cars actually had a rule that above 150 miles an hour it had to be petrol power only so the electric system and the hybrid system had it had to be somewhat realistic to a real car because real hybrid cars they typically their acceleration the electric motor typically will do 
a certain amount before <laughs> those likes are wasted. I know. <laughs> I mean, your best bet is to just watch the um, videos in the background and just have it run in the background. That would probably be the best bet. <laughs> then those likes might come back. Who knows? They just don't appear on my end anymore. <laughs> they all disappeared. Jug. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's to be realistic to like no normal road cars. Because most road cars... Their hybrid normally works as... It will do electric for the first like 20 miles an hour. And then it will be hybrid and then it will be petrol only. For the higher speeds. Because electric motors... I mean, more modern cars will be a little more higher speed. But like, the Toyota Prius, I think that goes into like full petrol mode. If you go into a high enough speed. I'm pretty sure the Prius did it in that way. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit similar to like um, Formula One curve systems though. Because they were batteries even though you, they would basically recharge during the lap and they would charge up ready for the next lap's worth of energy, if that makes sense. Because then you would reset, you'd have a lap's worth of energy that you could use. And then you would, once you cross the finish line, you then had that energy for the next lap and so on. They'd also give you a limit on how much energy, so a lot of the time Formula 1 curve system generated more electricity than you were allowed to use, but I miss the curve system. I think it's better than the hybrid they have now, because even though hybrid was... It, the hybrid is basically just an advanced version of the curve system, at least in when it was Kurs. The electricity was being used to, as a tactical advantage, almost like DRS. Like, imagine if we had Kurs and DRS today. Yeah, most of the time, um... The batteries in the LMP1 cars pretty much are designed to die around about 140 to 160 miles an hour. Um, if you have a heavy braking zone, you'll have plenty of charge to get you up. Um, but that's only if there aren't any corners. If you start ha adding corners to it, where you're like slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, you might not actually get to 150 miles an hour before the battery dies. So, but I think it's very restrictive on how much energy you can actually generate. Yeah, I suppose. Just put your foot on the brake. Oh, look, fully charged. I got the Bugatti behind me, so I got to be a bit cautious. Hey, no worries, Zeno. Oh, in due time. I wonder what the next uh, championship's actually going to be. One big 
Victory! It's weak! How come wrong? <laughs> I love this song. Oh! Ah, oh, you prick! Forgot he's overtaking me. The bug. Leads to determination. That saline's looking for that pass. He's not quite managed it. Gutted for the saline. Not. <laughs> Psych. Oh, in due time. See the world through different eyes. See, this is the thing that I don't understand about the AI cars in this game. Is they are very conservative on just how they drive. <laughs> I'm following your orders, sir. They're not orders. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> you must do. Oh, piss off. Okay, prick. Right, now I've lost it to the saline as well. Just lay down. Right, I'm gonna have to rely on slipstream, so I'm gonna not overtake the Bugatti yet. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, come on. I need the draft. Oh, speed! Speed is key, and then the slingshot. That's how it's done. Just a work here. I've been. I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been craving away. I need this. I will hold out just as long as you. Don't hold back, hold nothing back tonight. I absolutely love this song. Like, I, one of my favourite video games, like, if, if I was to give you, like, a list of, like, my top ten, guaranteed in, in that top ten is Guitar Hero Live and Guitar Hero 3. Guitar Hero 3 is probably higher up, let's be honest. But the song list on Guitar Hero 3 is just fucking killer. Thicker than air. Hold out just as long as you. Don't hold back, hold nothing back tonight. Right, the Bugatti's far enough back that I don't have to worry about it anymore. Good. Just 
let it take control, fusing you to me. Bing, bing, bing. Magma, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? I guess secured pole on my first lap. Hey, not bad, Zeno. Not bad. Yeah, we're still on the falls of grind. This game's fucking huge. We're 112 hours of playtime in. So I've been playing this game for 112 hours. Like, that's fucking mental. It's more than any game that I've ever played on Steam, let's put it that way. Like, my most played game on Steam is 104 hours. And that is a game I haven't played in over three years. So... Like, properly, anyways. Oh god, I thought that was the last lap and I was gonna lose that then. Fucking hell, that was close. The first Forza was actually on uh, Xbox Original. Um, that would have been Motorsport 1. That was fucking killer. Not a fan of the first Motorsport, though. Really not a fan of it. Like, a lot of people say it's a good... I think it was a bit clunky. A bit rushed, maybe. I don't know. Very much a huge fan of Motorsport 2, though. That was fun. Motorsport 2 is kind of what I would class as, like, the first good Motorsport game. Like, the start of the Motorsport series. That was on the 360, and that was pretty good. You're my delight. Later. You had your odd stream deck off your phone. Yeah. <laughs> Still got it. Um, I don't really use it at the moment because OBS has changed all their inputs. Um, and be due to that, Touch Portal has had to change a lot of their plugins and stuff like that. So, my Steam Deck, my stream deck, sorry, that I use on my phone doesn't work. OBS doesn't work and uh, Mix It Up doesn't work. So all of my bot software and just everything is just hating each other at the moment. So I, what I need to do is just fucking fresh install of OBS, fresh install of Mix It Up, fresh install of Touch Portal, fresh install of... Actually, that's it, I think. But yeah, I need to completely refresh absolutely everything and I'm not doing that. I'll be doing that next... Sunday, I think, or the Sunday after. I'll be doing it before Christmas. Uh, yeah, before Christmas at some point. I just gotta find the time. Which I don't have at the moment. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>